This is Witchspace News for Friday the 8th of November 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news a new generation ship is discovered, Speed Bowl 3 is this weekend and we'll have some notable events and stories from around the community. If you find this video useful hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon. You can also join the Burr Pit community on our Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. A Galnet news article appeared this week detailing further fallout from the Rockforth Corporation's EX7 fertilizer scandal which brought about the appearance of the crop blight that continues to threaten the food stocks across multiple star systems. A paragraph at the end of the item that details the Interstellar Association for Agriculture's ability to track systems that require help as a result of the blight contained an almost offhand comment about a signal anomaly in the Upaniklis system. Upon investigation of the system Commander Malik discovered that a new generation ship had appeared. The appearance of a generation ship is significant but not incredibly unusual but what is very unusual but now seemingly becoming the norm is that Galnet News has again pointed to something in the game that has turned out to actually be in the game prior to the Galnet revamp this was extremely unusual and not only that but the inhabitants of the generation ship which we now know to be called the Golconda are, wait for it, actually still alive. Up until this point in elite history the only remnants we've had direct contact with from the generation ship program have either been abandoned or have suffered some terrible fate ending in various imaginative flavours of their respective untimely deaths. To talk more about the Golconda and what's happening with it would stray significantly further into spoiler territory but suffice to say it looks possible that the ramifications of the Scourge interstellar initiative may not yet be over. At the very least I hope that's the case. We're all still finding our feet with the new Galnet 2.0 so we'll see where this may or may not be going. To catch up further on what's currently happening head over to the Upaniklis system and download the logs from the ship. It's just 200 light years from Sol. A reminder that this weekend sees the third annual Gravity Speed Flight Championships take place in the 61 Virginis system. It's that time of year again when Commanders Halo Jones and Primetime Casual encourage the unwary and the unhinged to participate in the uniquely elite sport of speed bowling. There's a link in the description below to Primetime's latest video on how speeds in excess of 4000 meters per second are achievable over a high G planet whilst in freefall and this years competition to achieve the highest possible speed over the weekend is encouraging pilots to not only arrive over a large and busy starport but also to pass between the tiny gap in between the towers in the center. What could possibly go wrong? Speed bowling is huge fun and achievable in even the most modest of ships. Do give it a go. The competition runs from midnight on Saturday morning until midnight on Sunday night. Everything you need to get started is linked below. And now some stories of note from the community this week. Notable Twitterer and regular streamer Commander Mal for the win is celebrating 2 years this weekend since he first pushed the go live button and started sharing his adventures in Elite on Twitch.tv. To mark the occasion Mal will be streaming continuously for 12 hours and completing a number of challenges in the game. Some of the challenges he set himself include touring generation ships, participating in the aforementioned Speed Bowl 3 as well as attempting the Buckyball Perico challenge and driving the Promesh Ridge challenge. The fun starts at 1400 UTC on Saturday on Mal's Twitch TV channel which is linked below. Commander FRJ released a number of his speculatory ship interior videos this time covering off the Viper Mark III. If you've not seen these videos before they are quite a thing and always very well made. The good commander takes all the slots that are shown in the ship outfitting screens in game and shows where and how they might fit inside a given ship. And finally Commander Mu Bowman is leading a mini expedition on PlayStation 4 this Saturday afternoon UTC to go from Leonard Nimoy station in LHS 3006 to the black hole in the Mintaka system 
All you need to participate is a fuel scoop and about 20 light years of jump range. To join in contact Commander Mu Bomin in game or head over to the Inara page for the Commander's Squadron Multo Sanguis which is linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>